In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips about splitting tracks. This often happens when you want to shorten something or take things out, uh, edit goofs. Uh, there are all kinds of things that you can do with the split function. What I have on the screen is I have a video of an interview of a professor that I did. And I have another track below it with a picture of a turtle that will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. Now this is just for your purposes. This will not be in the finished product. But I have the regular track of the movie. Then I split the sound so I could edit the sound. And I also have this icon in this section. And so I'd like to play it and get to a point where I want to stop it. Fall between the cracks. Um, we'll make sure that students, we pay individual attention to our students, so no one's going to get overlooked. Okay, there's a good place to stop. He says no one's going to get overlooked. And then I ask him another question, and we'll edit to the next response. So I need to split the track here. Now, in order to split a track, I click on the track I want to split, and it turns dark, and then I can click on the split uh, clip. The problem with this one is I don't want to simply split the video. I want to split the video and the audio. Okay, so let me show you how to do that first. So what I need to do, I can drag, uh, start a square here, and I go up. Now I'm selecting both video and audio. Now if you haven't split the audio off your video track, you don't have to do that. Or if I wanted to split all uh, three of these items here, I could just click in the anywhere in an empty area and drag and click it, click it. And then when I, I've selected all three, so now when I hit the split command, it will split all three. Let me do that just to show you how it's done. I'll click the split here and it immediately split all three. I have uh, my icon on this part, my icon on this part. If I don't want it here, I can take this other piece of it and I can right click on it and I can simply remove it. I can say uh, let's, let's cut and uh, leave the gap there. Okay, so now I move my playhead to the place where I think I want to edit out another question and let's see what happens here. We'll go ahead and play this. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like a prospective student to know about this place? Sure. Okay, now I have my question. I, I'm going to edit out my question. I've come to another split, so I want to make sure I get audio and video together. I don't really care about my icon right now. And then I'll click on the split command. And then if I want to remove this section, let me show you what we can do. Again, I'm going to click on both the audio and the video sections. And if they're too small, all you need to do is move your uh, cursor into the timeline and drag to the right and it will widen everything. It doesn't change the time but it changes, it kind of magnifies it. So I want to take these two sections out. So once they're both selected I right click and I can click on cut. Or another way I can do that is I can with them selected I can click on the trash can. One is remove and leave gap I want the keyboard shortcut, that's shift delete, remove and fill gap. If I do remove and leave gap, there will there will be a blank spot between these two items on this track. Let's do that and show you what happens. Okay, now I have a blank spot. I'll undo that with edit, undo. Or the other thing I can do with them both selected, I can hit my trash can again. I can do remove and fill gap which is my control plus my delete key. All right, so I'll do that. And now it moved everything on that track to the left. And now it moved it over. I have no gap. I can continue with the interview as though I did not ask the question. Go ahead and play the clip. One thing that's neat about Trinity is its proximity to a world-class city. Uh and that gives me another option to go ahead and do the editing. You can also do the same thing on other items. If I did want this little turtle icon here and wanted to, to change it, let me uh, go ahead and make it smaller here. If 
I wanted to shorten the time this is on the screen, with an icon I can simply take the double headed arrow, move to one end and drag, and shorten it. Let me move to the, uh, let me get all of this on the screen. To do that you just click on the icon uh, above the timeline with the two arrows. It says view entire movie that fits everything on your screen. Another option that you have in trimming is if you're at the beginning or end of your video clip or a segment of your clip and you just want to make it shorter you can actually take the, I'm going to highlight both of these. Another way to highlight them, by the way, is to click on any track that you want that's uh, vertical with another track and hit the control key and I can select as many as I want. Then I can take my double headed arrow here and I can actually change the duration of it. You see the duration number coming up and so I can go ahead and cut it to here. Although it's a little more awkward because I don't know exactly what I'm cutting and what happens at that point in time. Um, but for uh, video, you can use this feature too to shorten. You can't lengthen it, but you can shorten it. So those are a couple simple beginner tips on uh, editing your timelines using your playhead and using your <laughs> garbage can to take things out and to pace and adjust in CyberLink PowerDirector.